Welcome to Wall Street Stockcast. Today we're digging into a really fascinating analysis of BitMine, that's ticker BMNR. The source material we're looking at makes a bold case, one that's built not on hype, but on what it calls simple arithmetic. So here it is, the big question right up front. Can a stock that's trading around $28 actually hit $250 a share? I mean, let's be real, that's not just a small jump. That's an almost 800% increase. A claim like that needs some serious backup. And the answer, according to this analysis, it's not just a yes. The claim is that the math makes this outcome inevitable. The author literally calls it math destiny. The entire idea is built on what the source says is just straightforward arithmetic. So you know what? Let's unpack that arithmetic. Okay, so the first place you have to start is by figuring out what Bitmine is actually worth today, according to this breakdown. The whole argument kicks off by establishing a baseline value and then seeing how it stacks up against what the market is paying for it. So let's look under the hood. The big ticket item here is a massive Ethereum treasury. We're talking over 4 million ETH, valued in this table at more than $12 billion. Then you throw in a cool billion dollars in cash, plus some other holdings, and you get a total asset value of over 13 billion. You divide that by the number of shares out there, and you land on a net asset value, or NAV, of $31.25 per share. And this slide right here is the heart of the starting argument. The stuff the company actually owns, its net asset value, is worth over 31 bucks a share. But what can you go out and buy that share for on the market? Just over $28. According to the source, that's a 12% discount. The market, it claims, is basically undervaluing everything Bitmain has in the bank right now. So the analysis lays out the road from today's discounted price to that huge target. And look, it isn't just about hoping the market closes that little 12% gap. The source says the real path forward is built on three specific growth drivers. It calls them levers that could totally change the game for the company's value. These are the three pillars of the whole thesis. Number one, the price of Ethereum has to go way up, which would obviously make Bitmine's biggest asset worth a whole lot more. Two, they start making new money by staking all that Ethereum. And three, a total shift in how the market sees the stock, where investors start paying a premium for it instead of buying it at a discount. So what on earth is staking? Well, the source explains it as a way for Bitmind to basically put its huge pile of ETH to work to generate a constant flow of new cash. It's kind of like earning interest, but for crypto. And here's the key point. This isn't just any old revenue. The claim is this income has an incredible 92% gross margin. That means almost all of it goes straight to the bottom line. Now for that third lever, the one all about how investors see the stock. The source makes its case with a head-to-head -head comparison. It looks at MicroStrategy, another company famous for holding a ton of crypto. The big difference? MicroStrategy holds Bitcoin, which just sits there. It doesn't earn any yield. And yet, its stock regularly trades for a huge premium. We're talking two to four times what it's actually worth. The argument is pretty simple. If that company gets a premium, then BNNR's model, with its cash-generating ETH, deserves an even bigger one. Okay, so how does all this theory actually get us to that $250 target? Well, the analysis doesn't just talk in concepts. It actually maps out how pulling these levers could play out for the stock price. It gives us two different scenarios based on where the price of Ethereum might go. All right, scenario one, this is the conservative case. Let's just say Ethereum doubles to $6,000. If that happens, the math shows Bitmine's net asset value per share would jump from around $31 to 61. So right there, if the market just paid for what it's worth, it's a $61 stock. But if the market applies a 2X premium, like the low end from MicroStrategy, suddenly you could be looking at a $122 share price. And now for the main event. This is the source's base case. In this world, Ethereum triples to $9,000. The math says the NAV per share rockets up to nearly 90 bucks. If investors give it that same 2x premium, you've got a $180 stock. But the source argues that at a 2.8x premium, which it calls an average multiple for MicroStrategy, well, the math lands you right on that $250 target. Bingo. And the key piece that justifies that big premium? It's the staking revenue. It's not just about the assets being worth more, it's about the cash they're spinning off. In that $9,000 Ethereum world, the source projects that staking revenue would climb to over a billion dollars a year. With those 92% margins, that's a massive, high-quality earnings machine that, the argument goes, absolutely warrants that high premium. So a mathematical model is one thing, but you need some real-world events to actually make it happen. 
the analysis points to several things coming up that it sees as major catalysts, the sparks that could light the fuse on this whole thing. The source's argument is that the wheels are already in motion. The most critical one it points to is the Q1 2026 earnings report. That's supposedly when Bitmin will show the first hard proof of its staking revenue. This, the source claims, is the moment the market is going to wake up. Beyond that, you've got catalysts like potential ETF inflows for Ethereum, tech upgrades to the network, and the big one, broader adoption from huge funds like pension plans that are desperate for the kind of yield BMNR could offer. You know, it's also worth seeing what Wall Street thinks right now. I mean, the 250 target is way out there, but you've got analysts at Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan with targets around 53 bucks. The consensus is even higher. But the analysis argues that these targets are based on the company's past. They don't even factor in the massive high-margin staking money that's supposedly the key to the future. The source wraps it all up with this really powerful statement. It frames the entire investment idea not as some wild bet, but as a mathematical certainty if its main assumptions, that ETH triples and the market gives it that microstrategy like premium, actually happen. And that really leaves us with the final thought, doesn't it? The source presents this compelling, numbers-driven case. It lays out a super clear arithmetic path from $28 to $250. It's a powerful model. But the ultimate question is whether the financial markets, with all their complexities, all their emotions, all their external chaos, will they really follow the clean lines of a formula, or will they chart their own much less predictable course? It's a powerful argument, and I guess time will tell if the market's reality lines up with the source's math. That's all for this explainer on the investment case for BMNR. Don't forget to subscribe for more breakdowns just like this one. Thanks for watching.